Now this is going to be a challenge. So now that we've got our stone steps secured in place, we've got something to mark off now, everything will work around this. Our next design challenge is going up into the kitchen. Now I've just took some measurements, just in this short area, what the kitchen is. Have a quick measure again. So roughly about three metres for the back of the wall. Now over that three metres, the level of the ground at the back, now this is without any floor covering on yet. We are nearly 20 centimetres. I'm going to get all this dug out, get the tape measure out, spirit level, and start working out how I'm going to design the steps going up into the kitchen. the floor cut back to where I need it to be. Now I didn't hit any stone in this area, surprising enough, but where the steps need to go up into the kitchen, it's solid stone, it looks like bedrock. But we had a little bit of fun in this area last time when we created the steps to go upstairs the stairs. So don't really know what's going on there. We'll get set up, we'll get this dug out, and we'll see what's going on. See if there really is a big void under there. That was quite hard work, it's really really hot today, well I say really hot, it's hot for me, it's in the 20s, that's hot enough for me when I'm doing this sort of work, 
So we get set up, dig that out. Now what I plan to do is something very similar but on a smaller scale of the steps up to the stairs. It's these two steps here. I'm going to basically replicate it starting from here so that this step here, off of here, that will be our floor level in our kitchen. So one block and then two block. And I've worked out that off the top of there to the back of the floor is virtually level. So yeah, that's our height. It's going to be here. So I've got to dig all this out, set some stones in, and then across here, we have a door opening where the steps are. So steps up here, I haven't measured it out yet, accurately. And then from this point here to the corner, we're going to build a stone wall up. So it's level with the top of the floor finish and level with this stone here. So it sounds a little bit tricky, and it is, but it's only a case of getting your levels right. It really depends what's going on in here. So we're probably going to come out six or seven hundred wide, maybe a little bit wider, depends what stones I've got. So, yeah, going out to about there, and the depth will be about 500 for the two steps, so it'll be across there. Yeah, something like that. But first I've been told I've got to stop, sit down, and have a cup of tea. Didn't argue with her. I have another design idea up my sleeve here, I'm not quite sure yet. I've got several options up here that play out as I go along, depending on what I find. It is nice and cool in this cottage, I must say. It's boiling hot outside. Let's just hope it's nice and warm in the winter. I'm sure it will be once I get the fire in. As you can see, we've got some massive big stones there. Almost just got to clean them up and relay them for the step. <laughs> Not quite that easy, but yeah, real. Right, let's get this area cleaned up. There's still a void behind there. Don't forget this is just a kitchen. It's only me standing on it, basically. There's no other weight in there. You know, it's thick granite like that. If there's a little void underneath and I fill it, it will be absolutely fine. So that's where the void is, under this one. Don't forget, I haven't got to dig down here because oh, I can just demonstrate. Stone step. It's going to be about this high, and there's going to be another one this level off of here. So in front of it here. So one step, two, and then this here will be the finished floor level of the kitchen. And then all this void under here until it hits the back will be infilled with something else. So maybe some crushed stone or something like that. But yeah, so once again, we'll put stone here and one up onto here. We just work with the materials I've got. A bit of imagination. I am gonna get that stone out though. Let's see what that reveals. I've got to be mindful because it's just on the edge of the foundation of our newly installed Stone steps, not bar it away, we should be okay. Yeah, that's fine. Well, it's quite big. Whew. Yeah, here she comes. Well, oh well, we can soon infill it with some smaller broken rock. Can you see the vision yet? <laughs> the 
It's the same what don't kill you makes you stronger. <laughs> Wow, more huge stones. Okay, plenty of building materials. I knew there would be some big stones here. Just didn't know how far back it all went. Okay, let's get that one out of it. One out. And dig all this loose stuff out. A little while, just this one. What's going on here? Yeah, let's have a look underneath here. So, what I suspect has happened here over the years, we've just had some maybe some water ingress from the back wall, and it's just run underneath the surface of the floor, just found its own way through and just washed out all the finer particles and just made a channel so we're not going to have that problem anymore because we've got a membrane across the back of the property so we're going to stop all that water ingress I'm also going to deal with this area when I do the steps and as I mentioned it's only foot traffic you know there's nothing weight bearing on here I feel I can't deal with Let's just dig it all out solid stone that can stay Ooh, all right we've got quite a bit to make up now that's okay we've got plenty of stone to do it with one barrel out of the small stone we'll keep it here and then we'll just backfill it okay so now it's a case of just finding some stones again At the end of my last video that I done, I asked everyone to, if they could, either watch another video or share my channel with someone else. And lots of you did, and it really did help. So I can't thank you all in person, but thank you all in person. <laughs> it really did make a difference. So if you haven't already subscribed or shared, feel free to. It's weird, isn't it? Got a clue what that is. Uh, don't really want to dig any more, more of the floor out. Uh, I wonder if something from above the floor in one of the holes is filtered down and filled up in there. And we've got a hole there. Well, I can't imagine what that is. I certainly ain't going to dig out any more floor. I guess we'll just never know. <laughs> Not sure I want to know. 
Oh well, it'll be buried soon. It'll be somebody else's surprise. It's not going to affect what I'm doing. Oh, solid. Well, solid ish. Oh well, not sure what it is. Maybe we'll never know. I don't think we will, will we? <laughs> right, we've got the opening now. Let's have a quick measure. Oh, that should be plenty. 800. Our depth. Got a lot of building up to do here. So I'm just going to clean all this area out now. Get some rock, some lime crete in there. Let it go off so we've got a good base. For our steps. Basically, we're just taking up the void that those big stones took out. When I've come to putting the new stones down, we have got a lovely strong foundation. Just agitate it in. And the beauty with lime is any moisture in there, it'll come out. Naturally dry. We will have a membrane on top eventually. Right. Have any of you figured out what that white stuff can be underneath there? I kind of haven't yet, but when I look at this lime, I think maybe lime, but why would it be lime? I'm sure there's a perfectly good explanation for normal use for stuff, or is there? I don't know. Maybe you found stuff like this under your floor. It's not something you find every day, admittedly. Okay, while well, that's going off, and I'll get the next stage ready, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.